Here I'm going to change a colour photo to a black and white one and then give it a sepia tint. Now this is just a quick easy single layer project ideal for GIMP newcomers. Now you can use any type of photo but I've chosen this portrait photo because I think it'll suit being black and white and may be tinted. I've already blurred the background of it in a previous project. So first click on colours in the menu bar and then come down and click on desaturate. Now if preview isn't ticked click in the little box there and tick it. And then simply click on the options and when you've found the one you like, click OK. And it's as simple as that. You now have a black and white version of the photo. This photo might look nice with a sepia type tint on it. So to do that, I click on the bucket fill tool. And come down and click on the foreground colour square to select it and I'll change the colour I'll click in the red to orange palette and find a brownie sepia -y type shade and click OK now go to your tool options panel and under the word bucket fill is the word mode now by default it's usually set on normal but we're going to change it by clicking on the drop down arrow and then clicking on overlay now come down to where it says affected area in the tools options panel and click on fill hole selection and then put your cursor on the photo and click And your photo now has an overlay of the shade you chose. Now if you don't like that shade or you'd prefer it to be black and white, simply click on edit in the menu bar, come down and click on undo bucket fill. And it's black and white again. If you'd like a different shade, click on the foreground colour square again and choose a different shade. Click OK. Click on the photo again and it's now the shade that you just chose. Now if you like the photo and you want to keep it, simply export it as a new photo. And that's all there is to it. Of course this was just a very quick simple guide. You can get very creative when you become more familiar with GIMP. But this is ideal for beginners to get started with. So if you have any problems or suggestions, please just leave a comment.